Hi there, welcome back. I'm Kathy Barker from Software Solutions and this is one of a collection of videos of the Microsoft Excel Essentials Level 1 course. Now what I'd like to show you and go through are formulas in Excel. Now formulas and functions are the real strength of a spreadsheet, its ability to calculate. Now in the file Excel 1 that accompanies your course notes, what we've done in a previous video is we've saved it as our first name. So that's why I've got this file called Kathy in front of me. Now in this file there's actually a sheet called Formulas and that's where I want to go. Now if I hold the control key and wheel forward on my mouse I can zoom in and I can see things more clearly. Now what I want to do is work with these basic numbers 10, 20, 30, 40 and I've chosen basic numbers so that the numbers are not the stumbling block that we can actually focus on the actual theory of formulas and how to put formulas into a spreadsheet. Now I'm going to use this as my whiteboard so over here the first thing I want to address is arithmetic. Now what do I mean by arithmetic? Arithmetic I mean multiplication and multiplication in terms of the character on your keyboard is the star or the asterisk. And I'd like you to use the asterisk on the number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard if you've got a number pad. If you don't, you will have to hold the shift key and hit the 8 to get the asterisk or the star above the 8 character. Now arithmetic also includes addition, which is simply your plus. It also includes subtraction. And I want to have a look at that, which is the minus. And lastly, it includes division. And when it comes to division, that's this character here. So on your number pad that resides on the right-hand side of your keyboard, as such, you will see that you've got a plus, a minus, a times, and a divide. And I really want to focus on those. Okay, for starters. So let's put our first formula into this sheet and I want to show it in B9. So we click in B9 where we want the answer to show. A formula always begins with an equals. Now there's an equals character on your keyboard just to the left of the backspace. So I'm going to press equals. Now the equals sign sends out like a smoke signal to Excel and says you're about to do a formula and whatever I type now is to be calculated, not just shown in the cell but actually calculated. So the equals is the flag or the, or the um, indicator that this is a formula. Now I want to refer to a cell and I want to refer to cell B4. Now some people will type it but I think best practice is actually to click it or select it. So I want to go equals B4 plus, so I press the plus on my number pad, and then I click on B5. And there's my first formula in this sheet. Equals B4, which has got a blue tone to it, which is 10, plus B5, which has got a red tone to it, which is 20. So when I press enter, that's my way of saying to Excel the formula is complete, and it'll give me the answer 30. Now when I click on the 30, I can look up in the formula bar and I can clearly say that the person didn't type 30, that they actually calculated 30 because there's a formula there. Another thing you can do is double click the cell and it'll also show you the formula plus it'll show you the color coding. Then press the escape key so that you don't accidentally change anything. Let's do another formula. I want to show the result in B10 so I click in B10. I always start with an equals and now I want to refer to a cell so I click on the cell before. I actually want to do multiply so I'm going to press the star and then I'm going to click on B5. Now when I press enter Excel knows I'm finished and it'll go 10 times 20 and give me the answer 200. Again if I double click the cell I can see the formula and I press escape and if I'm sitting on the cell, I can see the formula in the formula bar and I'm able to edit the formula if necessary just by clicking up here and making alterations. Now the beauty of a spreadsheet is that if one or more of the variables should change, then everything will recalculate. So if it wasn't in fact 10 hours that was done, it was actually 15 hours that was done, for example, I could overwrite the 10 with 15 and as soon as I press enter, this 30 will go up to 35 and the other answer will go up to 300. As soon as I change it back to 10, 
then they'll go back to 30 and back to 200. So as you change any of these cells that are referred to by formulas, the formulas recalculate, and that's the beauty of a spreadsheet. Let's put another formula in. I'm going to click on B11, and in here I'd like to do a subtraction. Equals B4 minus B5. When I press enter, 10 minus 20 throws me into the negatives. It gives me negative 10. Now I'd like to go equals B4 divided by B5. 10 divided by 20, if you cancel the zeros, is 1 divided by 2, which is a half, and that's 0.5. And the last formula I'd like to go equals B4 times B5 plus B6 minus B7. <clears throat> so B4 is 10 times B5, which is 20, is 200, plus 30 is 230, minus 40 is 190. And so we end up with the answer 190. So that's the basics of putting a formula in using arithmetic. Now it's at this point that I need to introduce you to the show formulas button or shortcut key combination. First of all, the button. If you go to the formulas tab in the ribbon, about three quarters of the way across that tab, you'll see a button called show formulas. Now if you click that, it literally will show you the formulas. Doesn't matter where you're sitting, it will reveal all the formulas in this sheet. It makes the columns wide, that's indicative that it's turned on, and everything aligns to the left-hand side, including numbers, which means that it's on as well. But I can see here, as I click on each of these formulas, what's actually going on. So when someone sends me a spreadsheet and says, Kath, it's not working, can you tell me why? One of the first tools I have in my toolbox is to turn on the Show Formulas button. Oh, um, often because I've never seen the spreadsheet before. And I need to know, are there any formulas and where are they, really quickly, so that button's really useful. If I click the button again, it shows me the answers. That button's so useful, I probably recommend that you right-click and you add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. And there it is there. So that means you can stay in the Home tab and just click that button whenever you want to show the formulas. But now it's time to show you the shortcut key combination, and that is Control Tilde. Now Tilde is in the top left of your keyboard below the Escape key. If you hold the Control key and press the key below the Escape key, you'll show your formulas, and if you press it again, you'll show your answers. So that's a really handy key combination to learn as well, to show and hide formulas. Okay, so that's our arithmetic. Now I need to bring into the mix brackets. Now the only brackets I'm really interested in are not the square ones or the curly ones, but the roundy brackets above the 9 and above the 0 on your keyboard. So I'm going to go Shift 9 to get the open bracket, space, and then Shift 0 to get the closed bracket. These are the brackets that I'm interested in. Now, you need to cast your mind back to school. And in school, and particularly in the mass classes, we were taught that brackets were really important if you want to control the order in which a formula is calculated. Let me demonstrate. Let's say you've got this formula. Um, equals 4 plus 4 divided by 2. Without pressing enter and seeing what the computer is going to give me in terms of an answer, I often ask my classes, what is the answer to this question? And most people will take a left to right approach. They'll go 4 plus 4 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So they're going from left to right. 4 plus 4 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So they think the answer is 4. The left to right approach is great when you're reading English, or you're reading, but it's not good for maths. When it comes to maths, there's a completely different approach than left to right. Let me just press escape. There is this acronym that I was taught when I went to school, BODMAS. 
Some may even, some of you may even know it as BODMAS. But BODMAS is an acronym, which just means a word made up, acronym, a word made up of the first letters of other words to help you remember something. And what it does is it helps us remember algebra. So the B stands for brackets, over division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Oops, let me put that underneath. And subtraction. So this is what the B, D, M, A, S stands for. Okay, so this is the order in which a formula is calculated. Let me just put this over here, drag and drop, and let me just put this and highlight these two and fill it down. So brackets come first, division comes next, multiplication comes next, addition and subtraction. Okay, so when you do a formula such as equals 4 plus 4 divided by 2, it's going to look first of all, is there anything in brackets, and we mean those roundy brackets, are there any brackets? No, they're not. Okay, that's done. Secondly, is there any division? Yes, there is. It's over here. So it's actually going to do that bit first. 4 divided by 2. Now 4 divided by 2 is 2. So then the formula comes 4 plus 2, which means the answer is going to come out at 6. Because brackets get done first, division gets done next, multiplication gets done next, and addition isn't until second to last. So when I press enter, I'm actually going to get 6 and not 4. And yet people are expecting 4 plus 4 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. But that won't happen unless you put this in brackets. If you put that 4 plus 4 in brackets, it'll get done first, which is 8. Then the division will get done second, which is 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. We have, if I press my button here, we have this formula giving us 6 and this formula giving us 4. This formula does not contain brackets, so the division gets done before the addition. This one contains brackets, so the brackets gets done before the division. And whatever's in the brackets gets done first. And I hope that explains the importance of brackets. You often don't need them in a formula. But if you put a formula in and it gives you a strange answer and you approach that formula with a left to right approach, you're never going to crack it. You need to approach a formula in the order of what's in brackets gets done first, division gets done next, multiplication, addition, subtraction. And then use your brackets to control the order in which the result is calculated. So if I want 4, I'll write my formula like this, but if I want 6, I'll write my formula like this. So it just depends what you're after. But that's a quick algebra lesson and the importance of brackets. So what's the next frontier? The next frontier is functions. So come back to my next video. Like this video, subscribe, come and see me for the next video where I take you through built-in functions. See you soon.